<laughs> and I want you to know one thing. It's been a pleasure. You just like to dance, don't you, Carl? That's right. You, know, you like to dance. <laughs> that was famous. Hello, welcome to One on One. I'm your host, Greg Walker. We got a good guest today. I'm looking forward for you folks to get to know him much better, and I will as well. The new head football coach at Austin Peay State University, Will Healy, joins us on our show today. Will is a dynamic young man. I think you're going to really enjoy getting to know him. I think he's got a great future ahead of him. Today, we're going to get his thoughts, opinions, and comments on a wide array of subject matter. Obviously, we're going to focus on football. I want you to settle back, relax, and enjoy a fun, down-to-earth conversation with a very fine young man. Will Healy's in the house. He'll join us right after these words. It's not a day you see coming. It may be sunny or it may be gray, but it's not a day you can get ready for. And it's not a day you would trust to anyone but a friend because it's not just a day in a lifetime, but a lifetime in a single day. Neil Tarpey Parchman Funeral Home. People that care, a name you can trust. Hopefully you tune in to Heartland Radio, the only locally owned, locally operated radio stations in the area. 105.1 on the FM WVRY and the oldest station around 1400 AM WJZM. Tennessee Vol Sports, Austin P Sports, the Atlanta Braves, news, talk, weather, and great music. Solid Gospel 105.1 and 1400 AM WJZM. Tune in. The Leaf Chronicle is now available on every device you carry or don't carry. All things Clarksville, in all media, 24-7. Subscribe now for full access. Welcome to our show today. The new coach at Austin Peay State University, Will Healy's in the house. Will, great to have you, man. I'm glad to be here. Well, you look sharp. I appreciate it. I got some bookstore bought material in here this morning. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we've been, it's been fun putting the red back on. I had some college red, but got to add some more to the repertoire now. You know, if you look on camera and you look at Will, and if you haven't met him yet, he's a young pup is what I call him, but I'll tell you what I like about you, Will. And I've got to know you a little bit. I've got to know you enough. You're energetic. You're hungry. You want to succeed. And I think you will. Well, I appreciate it. I, I tried not to shave this morning because I didn't want, <laughs> wanted, I wanted to look a little bit older, but uh, I, I am, I'm 30's very 30 is a great excited. age. It man. is a great age. I'm, I'm excited. I, what was I, Watson Brown when he came? 28 years old. There you go. Yeah, and he actually called to wish me good luck with this thing. So uh, it, it is, it's been unbelievable. The last couple of weeks have been a lot of fun and uh, it, it's going to be a lot of work, but we're, we're up to the task, and we've got a bunch of guys who have the same energy and passion about this place as I do. So, could not be more confident in the direction we're heading, and uh, we got some great support on the way. And now we're getting into the recruiting aspect a little bit, and the reception from high school co coaches across the state of Tennessee has been absolutely phenomenal. So, excited about getting that underway. Well, I'm impressed. I really am, and I think you will. Uh, get the job done. You you got a lot of energy and you got a lot on the ball. Let's get to know you a little bit. Let the folks get to know you. Born and raised in Chattanooga. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So it was it was hard to leave Chattanooga. You know, my wife's born and raised in Chattanooga. My my parents are still there. I've got a 38 year old brother uh, that's still in Chattanooga. I've got a 40 year old brother that's in Atlanta. So I was kind of the uh oh baby. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my dad tells me my mom won't ever tell me that. Um, and so it, it, it's a tough place to leave. You know, I, I was gone for basically five years in college. I went to Air Richmond. Force at first, and then I transferred to University of Richmond. So I've been gone for a little while before, but uh, Chattanooga is a great spot. You had a ton of support there, did some really fun things there. But, you know, one of the things that 
attracted me to this job, other than just wanting a chance to be a head coach, was Clarksville has been unbelievable. And it's a lot like Chattanooga in a lot of ways. Uh, the support here over the last two or three weeks has been fantastic. And it reminds me, I feel like I'm at home already, you know, so. Well, you're two and a half, 245 away. Not it's bad not at like all. you're that far. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. So easy transition for us and my wife, especially in this profession, most of the time it's having to move 10, 12, 14 hours away from home. You know, we're two and a half hours away from home. And, and uh, so our families are going to be able to come up every Saturday and come see us and come watch the games. And my friends from Chattanooga are going to be able to come watch us and support us. So uh, you're right. You feel like you're just on the outskirts. And uh, but yeah, grew up in Chattanooga. have had a lot of fond memories of Chattanooga and look forward to doing the same here in Clarksville. So you're talking about your siblings. You have two brothers. Yes, sir. As your siblings, your parents, what did they do for a living? My mom uh, is a retired nurse. Uh, my dad was a, uh, a food broker. He and and now he is selling mobile X-ray devices. He's done a little bit of everything. I, I tell him he's going to find out what he wants to do when he grows up. Uh, but he's done everything from the Make a Wish Foundation, board of the Make a Wish Foundation, to uh, uh, to the outdoor Chattanooga, which is direct, director of parks and recreation in, in Chattanooga. So he's done a little bit of everything. He played college ball at Georgia Tech. And great so school. It is a great school. And so I grew up a, a Georgia Tech fan like we were talking about. You can't be a bandwagon fan and be a Georgia Tech nope, fan. you cannot. Um, so, yeah, it, it, my dad grew up in Chattanooga, and uh, my mom's actually from America's Georgia. So. They met, dad was at Georgia Tech, mom was at Georgia, so there's a little bit of house divided in there, but usually dad wins that battle and mom usually wins the game. So, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, dad's been there for, uh, he's 64 years old and, and is just as, just as rough, tough as he's ever been. And, uh, and your uncle, let me go to your dad's brother, Chip Healy, linebacker at Vanderbilt, and I remember watching him play. Yeah, Uncle Chip is a big part of that toughness. Uh, he's still living in Nashville. He's running a, uh, a halfway house in Nashville and, and doing, doing pretty well and, and uh, awful proud of him. He was a great player, and he's an even better, better person. So football's how, run in the family for sure. How long have uh, you and your wife been married? We've been married three and a half years. We've got a, uh, a year-old little boy. Uh, named Eli. We we laugh and say that whoever had the better year between Peyton and Eli is who we were going to name him after. Really? But not really. We, just, <laughs> uh, we name him William Elliott and we're going to call him, we've called him Eli. But I like it. Eli Healy. He better be a good player with the name Eli, right? Oh, well, <sighs> now let me tell you something though. See this guy right here? Mm -hmm. He started out in a bassinet on this show and through the years he's come up. Now his name is Nolan Cleet Walker. Call him Cleet. Now, like where did that. Nolan come from? Ryan? Correct. There you go. Cleet. Cleet Boyer. Third sack with the Yankees. C-L-E-T-E. -E. Not a great athlete. Was an athlete. Works out all the time, five days a week. But what I'm saying, you never know. Oh, I know. But oh, let I me know. tell you something. I mean, you know, you won't, you're you going to still love him There's regardless, no buddy. There is no doubt. He's been so much fun. I've... I've been laughing saying that I feel like the first couple of days on the job being a head coach are like my first couple of days being a father, that you you learn something new every second of the day. It's Each individual day is its own adventure. It is. They've both been so exciting. My, I, I'm telling you, it's it's been an unbelievable blessing. My wife is the best mom in the world, and she's been so supportive. and. Uh, so look forward to raising him in a, in a family and, you know, also showing the guys that we have in this program that this is what it's like to be a loving husband and a loving father and, and our, my family's going to be around a lot. You know, Good. I promised my wife that <laughs> yeah. if, if we moved away from Chattanooga that, that I would make family the, you know, the priority and it always has been for me. So at the end of the day, people are going to call me a, a a good husband and a good father, and that's more important to me than being a good football coach, but I'm here to show that all three can be done. So. God, family, first and second. There's no doubt. No question about it. Faith, family, football. Those are my three three Fs. That's really great. That's great. Childhood years, good growing up in Chattanooga? Unbelievable. You know, I, I had two parents that were so supportive of me. Um, 
You know, did I, you start sports at an early age? I did. I, I started uh, playing tennis at age three. You know, I bet your older brothers pushed you. They you? did. I got beat up a lot as a, yeah. as a young child. So, uh, yeah, they would, you know, box me and, and wrestle me and do all that kind of stuff. So I've always been around sports. Um, you know, started playing baseball at age five, played soccer growing up. Didn't start playing football until I was in seventh grade, which was probably the best thing yeah, that ever you, happened to let me. Let your bones and muscles mature. That's right. uh, and I, it, was, it was fresh for me going all the way through college. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was around sports a lot. You know, golf, tennis, uh, basketball, you name it. I mean, I, I was doing it at some point in time. Where'd you go to high school? I went to Boyd Buchanan High School, which is uh, a single-A high school right, right over near the Chattanooga Airport. Um, and had you know graduated with 64 people in my in my class in my senior class, uh, had a unbelievable um, high school. I really I went from uh, Boyd Buchanan from third grade all the way through, so I met some of the best people in my life at, at Boyd Buchanan and wouldn't trade those those years for anything. So had a lot of fun playing sports, but also the people, the environment. Um, you know, it, it's a it's a Church of Christ school, so it was a it was an unbelievable. Were you environment. raised in Church of Christ? I was not. I was actually raised Episcopalian. Uh, my wife and I go to the Methodist Church in, in Chattanooga now, but uh, I grew up in the Episcopal Church. So I was the oddball. I was a black sheep over at the at the Church of Christ school. But um, you found out pretty quick you you you'd stand up for what you believe in. You, you know? toe the line in the Church of Christ. There is no doubt. <laughs> there is no doubt that the the way that I was raised and the way that most of the other guys in the in the school that I in Boyd Buchanan were raised were a little bit different. But I was able to to bring another side. I was again I was the black sheep, but uh, um, I, I found that I had to stand up for what I believed in. Will Healy, the new head coach at Austin P, our guest on one on one. We'll be back with the coach right after this. The Leaf Chronicle is now available on every device you carry or don't carry. All things Clarksville in all media 24 7. Subscribe now for full access. Who your financial institution is, but I do know this. Give my friends at First Advantage Bank the opportunity to be your financial institution. They've got a lot of new accounts, maybe one's perfect for you. And what I always like to say is since 1954, First Advantage has helped fulfill the dreams of more prospective homeowners than any other financial institution in the area. There's a location close to you. For all of your financial needs, give my friends a chance at First Advantage Bank to be your bank. Member of FDIC, they're an equal housing lender. Our guest is the new football coach at Austin P. State University, Will Healy. Outstanding young man. He's the 19th football coach in Austin P. history. I predict great things for this young man. You know, I, I wouldn't have... Uh, I've got to know you a little bit, Will. We've talked on the phone. We've talked, and we've had good morning together today that I've really enjoyed. But uh, just from a philosophy standpoint, and let's talk about that, football philosophy, both offensive and defensively, um, do you like – well, what is your football philosophy? Well, it's a great question. Um... You know, on offense, we're going to be creative. I, I want to keep people on their on their toes. I don't believe in the let's run 150 plays as fast as we can do it, and and some of them aren't very schematically sound. I, I want to run sound football plays. I want to do it in a no huddle system that's not necessarily up tempo. Uh, 
I want a quarterback who's a dual threat type guy who can make it 11 on 11 and we can run the quarterback. Uh, you know, we're going to have to figure out what we have this first year. If we have one, we'll use them. If we don't, we'll find ways around it. Uh, but um, I want to be creative and I, I, want, I want trick plays. I want uh, different formations. I, you know, you really, my philosophy is you run the same play a different way. Uh, so you can try to make those plays as easy as humanly possible on the guys up front, your, your five offensive linemen. But you find ways to hide it based on formation, based on tendencies that you've created. And then you use your motions and your shifts to be able to, to you know, to change it up. So, uh, you know, we're going to be, um, we're going to put a lot on the quarterback. You know, we're going to, we're going to be a, we're going to have some drop back pass elements to what we're doing. We're going to max protect and play action pass people and take some shots. And then we'll have a little bit of a, uh, of a new age Baylor, uh, Oregon type, uh, you know, stage to us too, where we can play fast, where we can get the ball in the perimeter and get the hands of our playmakers. You know, at the end of the day, we got to figure out our personnel. We got to figure out what gives us the best chance to win now. And, and and our staff has done enough. You know, I've done a little bit of everything on offense. I've been in, you know, two backs. I've been in no backs. I've been in, you know, I've had a quarterback that can run and a play action pass. You know, in the pocket quarterback. So we'll find ways to score points. I think we've got enough talent coming back. Uh, that we're going to we're going to be much improved on offense, and we're going to find ways to score points. So you have looked at tape of the team. I have, I have, and I, I think you know you got some talent at running back. I think those guys up front are young, but they're they've gotten a, a year of experience underneath their belt. I think you've got some wideouts that you can get the ball in the hands of. Obviously, we lost our quarterback, so we got to be able to replace that. But there's enough there. We can we can do some stuff with it. You know, you talk about defensively. Um, we're going to be a 4-2-5 defense. So we're going to have we're going to play a four down lineman. We're going to have two in the box linebackers. And most of the time today people are going the spread sets. They're removing guys. So instead of having a third linebacker, we're going to put a fifth DB in the game and let that, you know, cover an athlete with an athlete. Yeah. And uh, he can be a, a blitzer. Um, he he'll be a 205, 210 type body that's physical enough to strong be strong safety. Yeah. He, he that's what he is, and he's playing. Uh, we call it the nickel position. So, um, you know, and 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 we're gonna keep guys in front of us. We're gonna we're gonna rush the pre passer, get pressure with our front four guys, and and make sure everybody in the back is is keeping guys in front of them. There's nothing that we're gonna do that will not be fundamentally sound. Uh, we're gonna make sure and and uh, and. And we're going to eliminate the big play. Our guys are going to know where they need to be, um, and, and we're going to be very fundamentally sound. Do you like to recruit to your style of play, or do you recruit the best athletes and adapt your style to the talent on hand? That's a great, that's a very good question. Um, I think if the guy is a difference maker, you know, let's say, for instance, we had a quarterback that was six foot four, 230 pounds, and could throw it better than any kid we've ever seen. Dan Marino. I, I would take him, and we would. Well, amen, we, 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 would, we would change our scheme to, to do what you know what fits him if he's going to give us the best chance to win games. I'm not stubborn. I don't feel like that. There's only one way to skin a cat, and uh, we're going to get the personnel in here that can help us win the fastest. I would love, if it's neck and neck, if I think both of us can help us win, I would love to recruit a quarterback who can make it 11 on 11 and can run the football. But if we can't find one and the best one available is a drop back passer, we've won with that before too and we'll do it again. Boy, that kid at Jacksonville State, we talked about him this morning. Deshaun Watson, of course, these don't grow on trees. Absolutely. I think Deshaun Watson's probably the best, he could have won the Heisman, best athlete in the country. The kid at uh, Jacksonville State, and his name escapes me. Eli Jenkins. Eli Jenkins. Good gosh. He's a game changer. Well, he, he really is. I mean, he, he single-handedly beat us twice uh, this year when I was at Chattanooga. But those are – I mean, he's an All-American for a reason. Uh -huh. And they're going to win the national championship for a reason. But that's where it all starts. I mean, you, you see it from the NFL to college to high school. If you don't have a guy who can run the show from the quarterback position, you probably won't be very good. So – We've got six months to figure it out, and we will. And another facet of the game that has always interested me, I guess I go back to Lombardi and George Allen times, 
but I really believe in you got to have a punter, you got to have a kicker, your special teams. You can win games with special teams. I don't think there's any doubt, and I think that's the hidden yardage. I think that's the you know the field position battles that are won that can give you chances to win. When you when you cut it up, you say. I'm going to put the same emphasis. It's you know it's it's a three three phases. It's you know offense, defense, special teams, and you've got to put the same emphasis on on all three of them because any game can be won or lost on any of those Absolutely. three phases. Uh, we're going to hire a special teams coordinator that is very 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 good that um, I, I've I've put a lot of a lot of trust in that I think will be very solid on special teams. People have different philosophies on special teams. I, yes, they do. My philosophy is that you use the best available players on any special teams unit you have. So whether it's your starting running back and he's got to be on kickoff team, you use him. I mean, you watch Alabama, and their starting running backs running down on kickoff team, and he's making he's making tackles. You know, the, some of their wideouts and stuff are on all their special teams units. So you have to treat the special teams version as the same as with the same importance that you do on offense and defense, and that's a personnel driven. You're playing your best athletes. You're right. Is that's what, what you have saying. to do. But you also have to develop depth in recruiting to make sure, sure you're good on special teams. Right. A lot of times, you can tell when you play two teams the you know maybe the lack of depth or the lack of of lack of talent by who you see running down on some of those special teams units. We've got to get to 85 scholarship players to make sure we have enough depth to be really solid on special teams, and, and uh, we're going to be able to do that. Special teams is very important. What attracted you most about the Austin P. job? One was the ability to be a head coach. I mean, that, that's my goal. I, I, I wanted an opportunity to affect 95 to 100 young men's lives the same way that I had, you know, 10, 15 coaches along my career that, you know, that affected my life. And uh, I think I'm in it because of relationships. I, I love developing relationships with high school coaches, high school, high school kids, college kids, uh, um, you know, fans and, and support personnel. You know, I, to me, it's about relationships and it's about uh, showing these 18 to 22 year old young men um, one, it's not been that long since I went through what you've got, you're going through right now. Yeah. Uh, two, that this is the difference between right and wrong. You know, we, we, I was talking with the staff the other day, and I said, um, we're going to spend as much time on character development, leadership attributes, um, oh, stuff away from football during meetings as we are going to be spending on football because we want them to leave Austin P and be better – people, be better citizens, um, be able to go survive as a husband and a father and, and be something that they're proud of and something that they learned in the most influential stage of their life. And um, that's, that's why I'm in it. I mean, that's what I love doing. That's the reason I'm not selling real estate or something, <laughs> because I, I, I want to have relationships with guys that 10 years from down the road call me and invite me to their wedding or tell me they've got a young child that and ask advice or, you know, I, I, I want to be transparent. I want them to know the ins and outs of what I'm about and what make me tick. And I feel like at the end of the day, if you develop a relationship with them and you show them you care about them, no matter what you say and no matter how you say it, at the end of the, bed, if they, at the, end of the day, if they can lay their head on a pillow and believe you care about them, you can say whatever you want to say and however you want to say it and coach them up as hard as you want to coach them up. And they'll respond because they know you care about them. You're not just, they're not just a number. Um, and, and, and you'll get the best out of them because that's, that's the way I was as a player. I played the hardest for guys that I knew that cared about me. Right. You know, no and, question. And, and that's the way I coach, and that's the way our entire staff will coach. That's great. That's well said. And you are a personable guy, so you can make – it'll be easy for you to make those relationships. You've already made one here with me. You know, we've got a relation. It's, it's no doubt about it. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be our stretch run. We're going to have to have him back next week. We're going to do two shows. Head coach Will Healy, Austin P. State University, joining us. Great job. Back after this. It's not a day you see coming. It may be sunny or it may be gray, but it's not a day you can get ready for. And it's not a day you would trust to anyone but a friend because it's not just a day in a lifetime. 
but a lifetime in a single day. Neil Tarpey Parchman Funeral Home. People that care, a name you can trust. Folks, if it's round, if it's rubber, and if it rolls, I promise you they have it at Rabin Tire Center. Rabin, well, that's formerly Clarksville Tire Center, but Barbara Ratchford, that's an Austin P fan, Will. She's retired now, and Rabin Tire has taken over. They're still a great place. They can fit anything from a semi-trailer truck to your little red wagon. 129 Terminal Road, right across from Governor's Square Mall, 129 Terminal Road, Rabin Tire. Go see him for any type of work you need. Our guest is head coach Will Healy, the Austin Peay Governor's new mentor. And we've had a fun show. We're going to have him back next week. We've only got a couple of minutes left. And I know you miss your family. You are living here in town now, but uh, miss your family. But... Uh, Hadn't had time, I guess, with recruiting, getting settled, to get settled in and bring them here. Yeah, you know, we're on the road pretty much every night, so um, I didn't think there was any sense in moving them here now for the month of January. But as soon as we finish with signing day, uh, they're, my, my wife and kid are going to move up here, and uh, we're going to find us a spot. We've been looking a bunch, so um, we're going to find us a, a spot to – buy a house and and uh, they'll be up here as quick as possible so it's it's been nice my wife is that excited about this opportunity for me that it hasn't been as hard being away from home and 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 leaving them you know because you know it takes a special person to be a coach's wife there is i i outkick my coverage times a thousand i don't think there's any <laughs> doubt about it if i wouldn't have met her in seventh grade she'd have never married me but uh i uh we've been high school sweethearts and all that stuff really? she's been so supportive and and uh you know, she's she's raising a child right now at, at home without me there, and so, uh, but she's bought into this opportunity. Uh, you're a fortunate man, aren't I you? I am. I'm very lucky. I mean, you've been blessed. I, there is no doubt about it. Don't deserve what's happened to me, but we're going to make the most out of sure it. Sure you deserve it. Sure you deserve it. But you are going to make the most of it. That's the main thing. Enjoy it. Good first show, man. Thank you, sir. Let's do it again next week. I'd love to. Head coach Will Heatley, Austin P. State University, has joined us today. He'll be back next week. If uh, maybe you know someone that missed the show, tell them to tune in. Anyone I know me to talk with is a potential guest. And a little of the same, but you know it's always different on one-on-one. -on -one. For our guest, Will Healy, for the man that makes it work behind the scenes, my man Steve Sawyer, for yours truly, Greg Walker. Until next time, have a nice rest of the day, folks.